Welcome everybody to Competitive Gaming Update for June 2020. Well, if you haven't heard on social media already, Guinness World Records is reinstating William J. Mitchell's video game world record scores back into the Guinness Book of World Records. Yes, this perfect Pac-Man score, the disputed Donkey Kong scores, all three of them are being reinstated at this point in time. Um, here, here's the quote, basically. Guinness stated that with the existing evidence and newly sourced eyewitness testimony, plus some new expert game analysis and hardware verification, in the end we found that there just wasn't enough or there wasn't, there wasn't sufficient evidence to support the disqualification across the board which Twin Galaxies came across a disqualification two years ago around this time. This again takes away the spotlight from once another gamer, Robbie Blakeman, uh, Don former, well he is the Donkey Kong world record holder now, um, as the buzz of him getting the latest Donkey Kong world record has switched over to this. Um, we should definitely congratulate him on a new world record score of 1,260,070 points, only achieved just a few days ago on June. June 16th so there was some attention on his scores and the Donkey Kong community and now it's dramatically switched over. Hi I'm Robbie Lakeman, world record holder on Donkey Kong. Once again he's the spotlight is being stolen again uh, focused back on, uh, on Mr. Billy Mitchell just like he did in 2010 when he came to the International Video Game Hall of Fame with 29 other gamers and industry inductees. Well, world, my friend Billy Mitchell has set a new world record on Donkey Kong Jr. and beaten the existing world record on Donkey Kong by exactly 1,100 points. Basically, said 15 minutes before the induction ceremony, hey everybody, look at my two video game world records, my 10.062 Donkey Kong, and my, my Donkey Kong Junior world record that I did a week ago. That's all. In an arcade. Boomers. And lots of people had their cell phones watching. Scores of people, maybe as much as 100 people at times behind you, they had their cell phones and videos. But soon the spotlight is going to fade away here once again because Guinness is already going back on other d disqualified scores by Twin Galaxies. Not just the past five years in the new era of Twin Galaxies. Um, they're going back and they're looking at all scores that may have been removed from the Twin Galaxies database, uh, doing their own independent review. Um, so they've been re-reviewing scores. So the first thing that comes to mind would be Todd Rogers' scores was removed. Um, probably two and a half years ago, his impossible dryster score. But no, um, the first thing that Guinness is working on, they're in the process of reinstating Steve Sanders' historic Donkey Kong world record of 3.1 of, of 3 million 150,800 points. Once again, based on newly, newly eyewitness testimony some new expert gameplay analysis, and more importantly, my VHS copy of his uh, 3.1 million score on Donkey Kong. And that score got in the Guinness Book of World Records. Guinness also stated that Steve Sanders' confession letter to other gamers in Walter Day back in the day wasn't sufficient evidence to support the disqualification process now at Guinness. When I discovered players were cheating, I was absolutely dumbfounded. It's just, it's just, it's, we live in a weird time, man. Not, not only there's more serious things going on in the world, but we're, we're talking about bringing back a Donkey Kong score more than triple of the current day record. Mostly I do it just because I do it. Hopefully I can start bringing you these updates, these little short ones at least once a week. Um, things happen, of course, but you know, if, I, if I'm not here for you bringing you these updates, make sure that you tune into Retro with Marco, 9 p.m. every other Tuesday, and I think the next day is gonna be June 30th at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6%, 6%, huh? 6 p.m. Pacific time, um, where the grill news is there, celebrating the newest world records, the newest gamers, the, the skillful gamers, not the drama that I'm covering here today. So, hope all is well. I'll talk to you then.